and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today it is January the twenty fifth. It has been an entire month since Christmas. How are you doing? Sad, sleepy, <laughs> ready for the new year. Oh yeah, of course. Ready for Chinese New Year.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lying around eating chocolates all day for like six <laughs> days. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is coming up soon. Who cares about Christmas? We got Chinese New Year coming. We got both. We can have both. We're also on page sixty-eight of the magazine, and we're on the second day of a two-day article talking about snow monsters. Now, for those of you tuning in for the first time, you should know that these are not real monsters. They are just monster-like things. What they are is trees covered with snow in a specific way that gives them really cool shapes, and people go. Specifically, to see these trees, entire forests of trees turned into monsters by ice storms or snowstorms. Hmm.、Mm. Yeah. So our Chinese title is "Snowman Army Attacks Snowman Soldiers." That this Snowman Soldier, if you heard the first part of the article yesterday, you know that Snowman Soldier is not a Japanese name. This Snowman is a mountain name. Snowman is a mountain name. Snowman is a mountain name. 所谓的雪怪不是真正的怪物，他们是树上积的雪，让这个整个形状看起来像怪物一样。嗯、mm. ，So in Japanese they're called juhyo, and I'm not a Japanese speaker, and I did my best with you know Google pronunciation.、Mm. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it just means ice trees. So I mean, it's just it's cool. It's really neat. I looked at some pictures, and I have to say, now I'm actually interested to go to travel to Japan in winter. And、um, Yeah, that's basically all the article is about. It talks about a couple places where you could see it, like there's Mount Zao, there's Yamagata and Miyagi Prefecture, and apparently Mount Zao is the most common place to see this. Yeah. So today we're going to find out a little bit more about these snow monsters. 好，所以呢，昨天我们有看到在日本啊，这其实目前感觉起来好像只有日本有啊，就是在山形县啊、宫城县这个山区，树木在冬天最冷的日子会变成雪怪。但我们昨天也提到说，它必须有一些条件才能形成所谓的雪怪，例如说气温必须维持在冰点左右，那风也必须持续朝同一个方向吹。那这些条件之下，下雪的时候呢，那个雪就会聚成一大团，就覆盖在树上。在树枝上面，然后呢，就感觉起来就像一个一个巨人、巨大的怪人在那边一样。那是我们昨天文章讲到的。那今天文章我们有更新的一些，有其他的资料告诉各位。So let's read the article. The snow monsters of northern Japan have been celebrated for centuries. In fact, these natural formations used to be more widespread across northern Japan. As recently as a hundred years ago, the iconic snow-covered trees were recorded as far north as Hokkaido, and as far south as Ishikawa Prefecture in central Honshu. However, as average temperatures have slowly increased over the decades, the areas where the snow monsters appear have gradually shrunk. In addition to the constant cold winds coming from Siberia. Snow monsters require a consistent temperature close to freezing at high altitudes, ideally between minus ten and minus fifteen degrees Celsius. Warmer temperatures make it difficult for the snow and ice to adhere to the evergreen tree branches. In recent years, some researchers have expressed concern that climate change may cause the snow monsters to disappear completely within the next century. Over the past century, Japan's average annual temperature has risen by 1.3 degrees Celsius. In Hokkaido, in the far north, that number is slightly higher at 1.6 degrees. If this warming trend continues, Japan's winters may soon be too warm to sustain the formation of snow monsters. Researchers have made some troubling predictions. That the average temperatures in Japan may rise as much as 4.5 degrees Celsius before the year 2100. Hopefully, such a rapid rise in temperatures can be avoided, and the snow monsters of Japan can be celebrated for many generations to come. However, if these magnificent figures really are vanishing, it may be wise to plan a visit to Japan as soon as possible to appreciate the snow monsters in person. If you want to buy, buy now. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> so the snow monsters of northern Japan have been celebrated for centuries. Yesterday, we also used the word "celebrated," 
And to celebrate something is to be like very excited about it, or to be very congratulatory about it, or just to talk, or just to make events about how cool it is. Hmm. 好，所以我们可以看到呢，他说这些日本北部的这些雪怪呢 ，have been celebrated， 对，庆祝。这里翻庆祝就有点怪，这里翻歌颂可能更好。Have been celebrated for centuries， 大家已经歌颂他，或者是大家很欢庆有这样的一个雪怪，很高兴有这样的一件事情，已经有好几百年了。For centuries。In fact, these natural formations used to be more widespread across northern Japan. They used to happen in a lot more places in a lot broader area. Widespread means it used to be spread more widely across northern Japan. 嗯，啊，事实上呢，这些 natural formations 就是自然形成的这个形状 formation。你当然也可以说这个是个景观的意思 formations 就是形成的一个。景观啊，形状啊，等等的，所以这些自然形成的这些景观呢 ，used to be 原来以前是怎么样 ？More widespread， 它散布的更广。Widespread 就是散布很广。那 more widespread 就是散布的更广。那 across northern Japan， 所以它这里就告诉我们说呢，事实上这些自然景观曾经更广泛的分布于日本北部。As recently as a hundred years ago. The iconic snow-covered trees were recorded as far north as Hokkaido, which is the northern island, and as far south as Ishikawa Prefecture in central Honshu, which is one of the middle islands. I'm not very good at Japanese、mm-hmm. geography.、Yeah. One of those islands in the middle. Hmm. Good. So as recently as 100 years ago, 就是仅仅在一百年前，因为这个是如果你放在很长的时间轴里面来看的话，一百年前其实也算最近。所以仅仅在近到一百年前，那这个 iconic 就指标性的 snow covered trees 被雪所覆盖的树，就算就在一百年前，它仍然有被记载到 were recorded。那在哪里被记载到呢 ？As far north as Hokkaido， 就是往北一直到北海道。远至北海道都有被记录到。然后呢 ，as far south as， 然后往南，一直南到哪里呢？石川县可以到石川县。石川县在哪里呢？是在本州的中部。这个 Honshu 就是本州，所以在本州中部的石川县都有曾经被记录过。也没有很久以前，就一百年前，石川县的中部，还有呢，北可以北到北海道都有记载到这些这所谓的雪怪，其实就是。However, as average temperatures have slowly increased over the decades, the areas where the snow monsters appear have gradually shrunk because the conditions don't really exist anymore in other places. 嗯，但是呢 ，as 是随着 as average temperatures 就是平均的气温 have slowly increased 慢慢的增加 over the decades 就是这几十年来。随着平均气温不断的慢慢增加，那 the areas 这些区域什么区域呢？ Where the snow monsters appear 就是雪怪会出现的这些区域 have gradually 已经逐渐的 shrunk 缩小了。Shrunk 它的原形动词当然是 shrink s h r i n k 就是 to become smaller 的意思。So in addition to the constant cold winds coming from Siberia. Snow monsters require a consistent temperature close to freezing at high altitudes. So we started off with saying one thing that the snow monsters need, and we ended up, or then we went to the second one, and in between we said what they need. So we're like, in addition to this thing, snow monsters also need this other thing. So actually, we're saying they need these two things. What we need, though, about the temperature is that it has to be at high altitudes, and it has to ideally be. Between minus ten and minus fifteen degrees Celsius. Now, some people will say negative ten and negative fifteen degrees. 好，那我们看到它 in addition to 除了 the constant cold winds， 所以你除了需要有持续的冷风，来自于西伯利亚的冷风。除了这个之外呢，雪怪 require 它需要的是一个 a consistent temperature. Consistent 就是一致的，或者是稳定的。它需要一个很稳定的气温，而且各位看到 temperature 没有加 s， 所以就是一个气温，稳定的一个温度。那这个温度是接近 freezing， 接近冰点的一个温度。那这是而且是要在 at high altitudes， 在高海拔地区要有一个稳定的接近冰点的温度。那 ideally 理想上。
这个温度是在负十度到负十五度摄氏度之间，就是摄氏负十度或者到摄氏负十五度之间，就希望能够在这个范围之内有一个稳定的气温。Warmer temperatures make it difficult for the snow and ice to adhere to the evergreen tree branches. So, if you're wondering yesterday why we needed freezing temperature air to make the snow work, it's that if it's warmer or cooler, it just doesn't stick. Adhere means stick. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Adhere 就是附着的意思，就 stick. S T I C K. 所以这个句子告诉我们，温暖就是 warmer. Temperatures 就是温度，如果高于这个负十度到负十五度之间的话，比这个温暖的温度就会 make it difficult for。那我们这个句型，各位要学起来 ，make it easy 或者 make it difficult for somebody to do something。如果是 make it easy for somebody to do something， 就是让某人要做某事变得更简，变得很简单。那如果是 make it difficult， 那就变得很难。那这里这个 somebody 其实就是所谓的 the snow and ice。所以如果温度高于此，那么冰跟雪就比较难，能够干嘛呢？比较难去做这件事情。这件事情就是 adhere to， 他们就比较难附着于这些常绿树的树枝，因为这些毕竟是常绿树 ，the evergreen tree branches。所以这个温度要够低、够稳定。In recent years, some researchers have expressed concern that climate change may cause the snow monsters to disappear completely within the next century, and that may well be true. Yeah, 那近几年呢，有一些研究人员 have expressed concerned that 这有各位学起来，好，就是表达的忧虑 have expressed concern that 他们表达忧虑，忧虑的内容是什么呢？忧虑的是 climate change 气候变迁有可能 may cause cause A to B 就是 cause A 去发生 B 这个事情或做 B 这个动作，所以这里 A 是 the snow monsters， 所以。气候变迁可能会使得这些雪怪干嘛呢 ？To disappear， 而且是 completely， 也就是他们可能会让这些雪怪完全的消失。Within the next century， 在下个世纪内就会完全消失。就气候变迁如果持续下去的话，那我想最近大家开始注意到这个问题了。这个2023年全世界各地的地方，这个都气候变迁造成很多很多的，最少让很多人觉得不舒服。Now, over the past century, Japan's average annual temperature, which is to say the middle temperature of every year, the average temperature means if you take all the temperatures, add them together, and divide by the number of temperatures you took, that's the average temperature, and it has risen by 1.3 degrees Celsius. So that means overall, Japan is warmer by 1.3 degrees. Hmm. 好，所以 over the past century， 在过去这个世纪，日本的平均的 annual temperature 年平均气温 has risen 升起来了，升多少呢？用 by 这个介系词来表示，所以上升上升了一点三度摄氏。Now in Hokkaido in the far north, that number is slightly higher. So the north has warmed more quickly than even the middle, and that's at one point six degrees. If you say slightly higher, it's higher by a little bit. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 那在北海道呢 ？In the far north, 在最北边，北海道在日本的最北边嘛。那 that number 就是什么 ？That number 就是指那个 average annual temperature 这个数字。所以在北海道最北边的北海道，年平均气温是 slight 的增加 ，is slightly higher， 就稍微更高。比什么稍微更高呢？比一点三更高。那所以是 at 它更高之后，它的数字是在 1.6 度。所以这句话其他意思是说，在北海道这个年平均气温上升的这个数字 number 是比 1.3 度还要高一点点，所以是在 1.6 度。at 后面接的是一个数字。So if this warming trend continues, if things start getting warmer and warmer like this, Japan's winters may soon be too warm to sustain. Or keep doing the formation of snow monsters. 好，那如果这个 warming trend 暖化的趋势 continues 持续下去的话，那日本的冬天可能很快 may soon 很快的就 be too warm to 就太温暖了 ，too 以至于不能怎么样。这个地方各位注意到是 too too 的这种结构，所以照这样下去的话，日本的冬天可能很快就会太温暖 
，以至于不能 sustain， 就是维持 the formation of snow monsters， 没有办法维持雪怪的形成，因为温度不够低，雪怪就无法形成了。Researchers have made some troubling predictions. If you make a prediction, it means that you make a guess as to what things are going to be like. And a troubling prediction is one that makes everyone nervous. And this troubling prediction is that the average temperatures in Japan may rise as much as four point five degrees Celsius before the year twenty one hundred. So that's a lot of degrees. That's also very bad for everybody. And it means that, I mean, the the ecology and the animals and the weather and everything will be completely different. You think that oh, one degree doesn't sound like much? It's a lot, actually. It's a lot, yeah. Now let's just talk quickly about twenty one hundred. Why did I say it like it's a hundred? Because that's how we say years. Um, if the date is like one eight six three, we say the first two numbers together and we say the second two numbers together. We say eighteen sixty three. Because it's the century that starts with eighteen, it's the eighteenth number, eighteenth century, and then it's the sixty-three year of that century. So we say eighteen sixty-three. But when it's the zero zero of that century, it's hard to say. You can't say the zero zeroth year, so you just call it twenty one hundred or nineteen hundred or eighteen hundred, etc. 好，所以这个二一零零年怎么念呢？因为通常来讲，像这个年代啊，如尤其四位数的年代。后面如果是两个零的话，通常这个美国人或者英文通常就会把它念成前面那个数字再加 hundred， 所以二一零零就变成 twenty one， 然后后面就是一个 hundred。那我们再来看看这个句子，他说研究人员呢 have made， 他们已经 made some troubling predictions。这个地方的 collocation 是 make predictions， 就是做预测 ，make predictions。predictions 是预测，所以 make predictions 是做预测，所以。研究人员他们已经做了一些 troubling 的预测 ，troubling 就令人忧心的 ，causing worry, causing anxiety 那种感觉，让你觉得忧心的。所以研究人员已经做了一些令人忧心的预测，预测怎么样？他们说 ，the average temperatures in Japan， 日本平均的气温 may rise， 可能会升高 as much as 升多少呢？多达高达 4.5 度摄氏。那各位不要觉得四点五度哎，好像还好。四点五度非常的多。那这件事情，他们认为什么时候会发生呢 ？Before the year twenty one hundred， 日本的气温有可能会升高四点五度。那这不得了的事情。那这平均气温升高四点五度，这是不得了的事情。So hopefully, such a rapid rise in temperatures can be avoided. Hopefully, we can all. Bring the temperatures of the Earth down now, and then the snow monsters of of Japan can be celebrated for many generations to come. We can go and enjoy the cool monsters. Yeah, this hopefully, ah, actually, there are two meanings. One is in a hopeful manner. The other one is it is to be hoped. So this place, this hopefully, is like two of them. One is, one part, maybe now there are some mistakes, so everyone feels like, ah, like we can hope. The other part is, the other meaning is, ah, we hope. The other meaning is, ah, we hope. The other meaning is, ah, we hope. 我们希望什么呢？希望 such a rapid rise in temperatures， 温度方面这么迅速的升温或者增加。Rapid 是迅速的 ，rise 是增加。那 in temperatures， 注意的 temperature 要加 s， 因为你快速的温升或者温度快速升高，就不会是只有一个温度。所以我们希望呢，这个这样子在温度方面这么快的升高可以被避免。而且呢，我们也希望 the snow monsters of Japan， 日本的雪怪。Can be celebrated. We can continue to sing it, celebrate it for many generations to come. In the future, many generations can continue to see this snow monster. For many generations to come means in the future, many generations can continue to see this snow monster. For many generations to come means in the future, many generations can continue to see this snow monster. For many generations to come means in the future, many generations can continue to see this snow It may be wise to plan a visit to Japan as soon as possible to appreciate the snow monsters in person while you can. Yeah, 但是呢，如果这些 magnificent 壮观的 figures 形体，就是指的就是雪怪 ，really are vanishing. 他们是真的在消失当中。Vanish 就是 to pass out of sight, usually quickly 的意思，就突然就是突然之间不见了 ，disappear 的意思。所以如果这些壮观的形体真的慢慢在消失当中的话，那么
it may be wise to. 也许做这件事情是蛮明智的。什么事情呢 ？Plan a visit to Japan. 你就计划去日本玩一趟 ，as soon as possible， 而且要尽快的去。去玩一趟，目的是 to appreciate， 去欣赏一下 the snow monsters， 这些欣赏一下这些雪怪。In person， 就是亲身 ，in one's physical presence， 或者 personally 的意思。So yeah, we have some questions here, of course, because. What is an Ivy article without questions? <laughs> It's like the emperor without his clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that was a good metaphor, but now、mm-hmm. we're stuck with it. Number one is which word in the day one passage means someone who watches something happening but is not involved in it? 第一篇文章里面哪一个字的意思是看着某件事情发生，但是跟这件事情没有关系这样的一个人呢？ The answer is onlookers, people who look on. 好，所以答案呢是 onlookers， 就是在旁边看的人 ，people who look on. And number two, you got to find the blank. You got to find the word of the blank. It's the close. It's a little tiny close test for your enjoyment. So I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to say blank one, and then you have to figure it out. Colorful lights are employed to increase the blank one of the snow monsters in certain places at Mount Zhao, adding an extra layer of surrealism to the visuals. Did you get it? Did you get it? Hmm. 好，所以呢，我们先看看这个题目在问什么。他说，为了增加藏王山某些地方雪怪的什么东西，所以他们采用了五颜六色的灯光。那为视觉效果增添一层的这个超现实主义的色彩。那所以，所以这个第一个空格我们要填什么呢 ？Illumination, because we're literally lighting them up. We want to increase the illumination of the snow monsters so we can see them better. 嗯，所以答案是 illumination 照明。那我们看第二个空格。The annual temperature in Japan has been getting higher and higher over the years, and some scientists have blank two that by the end of this century. Japan's average temperature will increase by 4.5 degrees Celsius. 好，所以题目说近年来日本的年气温越来越高。那有科学家怎么样说到本世纪末，日本的平均气温将上升 4.5 度 C? So the answer is predicted. They have predicted that this might be true. 啊、哦，所以答案应该是 predicted。他们预测。Number three is tricky in a new way. We have six. Choices to answer the question, but there is more than one answer. See if you can figure out how many are true. Which of the following are true about the snow monsters? 好，关于雪怪，下列哪些说法是正确的？所以我们的答案应该是 A and F. We have two answers. So A, they can be viewed from the cable cars, and F, they extended from Hokkaido to Ishikawa Prefecture a century ago. 好，所以答案 A 呢是可以从缆车上看到他们，没错，这我们文章有讲到。F 也对，因为他说一个世纪前他们从北海道一路到石川县都有。Hmm, so that is all we have for you today about ice-covered trees, aka snow monsters. But come back tomorrow or later for more interesting ivy stuff. That we've got lots of English stuff for you. So come back and we'll see you then. Bye bye.